that's gonna be like this that I want out of it. Now let's take a look. Need to go uh, inside. I'm gonna I'm gonna insert the faces. Everything from here going on. That's close to a circle. And circle. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Madeline. And today we are gonna continue with part 7 from uh, Force 918. Now I get a better sound. Hopefully you can hear me better. That's something that I've changed. And uh, I got a silent uh, mouse. So uh, let's click that that you are gonna hear while I'm recording. Now uh, in this part, I thought about uh, doing uh, the engine of the car, the the heart of the car. That's what, uh, what it powers up the wheels. And uh, first up, let's take a look at the pictures. Maybe I'm gonna start from the exhaust and then I'm gonna do whatever, whatever else. So uh, let's bring the cylinder. This cylinder is gonna be, let's go with, uh, with 24. I'm gonna leave it to be a, a simple thing. Now maybe I can rotate on Y 90 degrees. Okay, so I see it from from the front, and by just adjusting it where where it's posi positioned on the blueprint, I can give already the the right side the right size for the for the size. So that's gonna be 15 millimeters, uh, 55 millimeters. Okay, for the depth, let's say I'm gonna leave it like that for the moment. Let's see where I'm gonna position it. So I'm going on X, that's gonna be the right position. Let's see from the side. So it's pretty much on the spot. Let's take a look on the photos. So it's a cylinder in uh, this kind of a shape. Let's save. And then I'm gonna go to edit mode. If I select this polygon and let me see what it was. Not shrink pattern, shear. So if I shear like this, it's just gonna take the exact shape that I want out of it. So with something like that, that looks perfect for me. So from the front facing, if we are just in the orthographic view, we can see it perfectly circular. And then the, the shearing of uh, the plane there, it's uh, just solving everything for us. Now maybe I'm gonna make it a little uh, a little bit bigger, just like that. Going more on Y, a little bit on X, like that. Let's see, we are still matching here and here also. Now let's let's see how we are doing with with this here. So the pipe have to go to something like that. I'm just gonna imagine how everything goes or maybe I can take a uh, but I will look later if I can get more photos with uh, the engine area so I can understand better exactly what's what's happening inside there let's let's mirror on y axis okay so now we have the mirror also everything is perfectly symmetry in uh, perfect symmetry let's extrude now let's take a look what we are having here i'm gonna go to look tools circle so i solved the tissue let's go to the edges i'm gonna select this edge and then not bridge wrong button circle like that let's take a look still in a good shape for the moment i'm gonna leave it like that i'm gonna add more details after because now we we need to take the the whole shape to see exactly how we are sitting with it so that there, there is a mesh in front here in front of all of these parts so i'm gonna do that and that after we finish we hide it so we can get the under under panels and this can be done by just selecting uh, this okay so that's the edge i need to follow like that Shift D, OK, P, selection. I separated everything. Let me just select OK. And then I'm going to select also this edge here. I separated the selection. Now, if I'm lucky, I can select 
both edges like that. Control J, so they are joined. Let's just not merge the verts here because they are, they were separated. And now let's see how I'm gonna fill up the area. Maybe I'm gonna go to local view so we can see better what's happening with this edge. So it's something like that. So just one by one, I'm gonna add some uh, some faces and then I'm gonna solve the topology. The thing with the photo, we cannot see exactly. Or maybe I have the, this other photo, which is helping me. So everything goes straight as it's on the panels around here. And then where it's uh, the down plane here, it's also following that. So that's helpful. So it's going to be something like that. So I'm going to slide this point around this area. Then I'm going to select this edge. So it's something like that. That's the, the down area. And the rest of it should uh, follow. Now I'm having a little bit too many words around here and I'm not gonna add all of them in this area. But let's see. Let's say I'm gonna add four cuts and then face. And maybe if I select this edge, that's looking good for the moment. Here I still have a quad. <laughs> okay, let's see how it looks if I make it smooth i don't really like exactly how uh, everything it's it's turning out here so maybe i'm just gonna dissolve the edges until until this one me maybe less points so i'm gonna dissolve these points around here and i'm gonna slide a little bit these points so i make more space around that area so let's see i'm i'm having four points and here only one. So that means three, four with this one. Face, face, face. And that's it. And now here, there is a little bit of a curve, which I'm gonna follow also with uh, these points around here. That's maybe what's happening also here. We can, we can see that happening. <laughs> so with this geometry, it's much more helpful. <laughs> so I have five words, which means five cuts like that and then if i select these three edges i have a face and then everything else should just follow now let's see how the spacing goes it looks like that's the right spacing but i don't like the shearing around this area also here and then let's see how we make the curve first of all i'm gonna select these three points I see that I, I'm needing to bring them to a point like that. Now, let's see for this point where we are. That's a good deal here. Mm. That's also fine. So that's pretty much the shape. Let's go out of the local view. And here I see I need to, to make a cut into the panels. Yes, so it's something like, like that. Let's see how the geometry it's looking for us. if. We can get something out of it. So these words can be moved to this area, something like that. And then I'm going to move these words around here. This one is going to be like that. Maybe I'm going to move it a little bit so it's close to this area here. And I also need to adjust this, these points around here so they are closer to the panel. Let's take a look also at the photo. So it's a thin edge around this area, which uh, we need to create from what I'm seeing here, the things are straight for the the, the gasket, I guess. So I'm going to put some more geometry around here where, where the get gasket is. And that's going to be adjusted later because it's not going like that on a slope. Okay. So uh, you are getting here and they are getting here like this. This point is going to stay here. Then I select these points that's looking better like that there. Maybe I'm going to move a little bit this, this word around this area. Now let's take a look. Things are looking good. Okay. So it's flat again. And, uh, with that, I, I just made the shape here. So 
it's not really necessary to, to delete it and after that to bring an another geometry. I'm just gonna select these parts around here and the selection that's just separated. Now let's take a look how the, the things are looking here. So uh, this shape it's kind of getting the inside so the circle it's perfectly visible. It's not hidden how uh, how the things was were looking here. Like as you can see here, it's just cutting from from the exhaust, but the panel somehow. Uh, let's just uh, let me see also what I'm selecting. I can adjust these points around here. I'm gonna get points the points close to that area. So these points need to go uh, inside. I'm gonna go on Z axis for the moment. Like let's see where where it meets. At this point, I'm going a little bit lower like that. Yes, this also gets lower like like that. And that's just straight. And then I will need another edge loop. So that edge loop is going to cover this top part around here. Let's just add it like that. And then if I'm if I'm taking a look on the top view, I can see exactly where I need to go with these points. So this is going to be here. I'm going to slide this point here something like that now let's let's see how we need to go on the top view so that's where i'm going on x-axis to a point like this that's pretty much the shape of course I, I will need to adjust a lot from what's going on here let's just go go into the local view so we can see better what's happening so let's solve the things this one, it's gonna be straight going on from the point. So that's a job for G stretch. Everything is going on straight from there. Then here, I will need a line which is gonna follow this area around here. Let me take another look. That's gonna be the line, let's say. And this line needs to be straight all over the place. Yes, like that. And here I'm gonna do a thing like that. Auto merging it's already enabled. So I press G twice and I get this kind of a shape because things need to be straight from there. With, with this edge also from here and this edge from here. So let's hit G stretch. So that's pretty much the shape that we need to get. Now I'm gonna slide a little bit uh, the point from here. Okay, like that. G twice here, so the point is gonna sit somewhere around this area. G stretch also here, so I get to this point. Of course, I will need to adjust more the things because that's also going up like that. Maybe I can go a little bit more on X axis like this. Let's take a look. So now with the new adjustments, I need to select again the edges around here and then G stretch. Of course the po the points are spread and I do not really want that. So that's pretty much the shape. Let's see how it looks subdivided. That's that's how we how we should be. Let me also take a look into the into the cuts. I'm gonna get this edge on Y axis like that. And also I'm gonna move this a little bit to this area around here here i need a little uh, bigger spread that's just too too small so i'm gonna add two edge loops and then i'm gonna select this verts around this area and they are gonna go up like that let's go out to local view so that's pretty good i'm gonna hide this panel because i don't really need it for the moment let's also save, I'm gonna adjust also this pipe around here so uh, it gets to something like like that it's poking out. So I moved it on the z-axis, then on the x-axis. So it's poking out to this area. It's a middle ground and something like that. That's where, where it gets out till a circle shape. Looks good here. Maybe I will need to adjust around this area. Aha, uh -huh, that's what I what I didn't saw. Here, here it's an empty space. That's 
That's why it was not matching around here. I was wondering what what's happening. Maybe I need to get it lower, but no, I I need to to get that space around around that area. But I'm gonna solve that also. It needs to be solved. Okay, I'm gonna extrude one more tile around here and then I'm gonna delete that face because we don't really need it. We can see inside of it and I'm required to delete also the faces around here because they are not helping me at all. Let's just adjust a little bit more the edges, something like that. Then well, maybe what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get this edge around here. Let's just get some space around uh, these points like that. And then I'm gonna add one edge loop around here so I can slide this point to this area like that. This point here. And let's see what we are gonna do with this voice. I'm gonna get this edge around here. So it's something like that. I'm gonna build it this face already. We can get rid of that issue let's slide a little bit this point from this area the point from this area is gonna slide also here i will add two more edge loops i'm gonna slide this point this points to something like that then i select these points they they will go a little bit more up like that and uh, also by having these points around here now i can adjust better the the curve so I'm getting something like that out of, out of the shape. That's looking good. Now let's see, because I have this face around this area. So again, I will adjust the points. And that's going inside. It's following the... Let's see, I'm gonna select first of this point around here. These points. And then these points. Let's see, the, this point is gonna slide. I'm gonna also slide this because it's shitting too much from what I'm swinging. I don't like it that much. The shearing effect that's created around that area. And uh, now I'm gonna slide these points here. Okay, everything else seems to be fine. Now, uh, let me see how I'm gonna turn the tables for this shape. So this, this is the shape which needs to be met at this point. Let's just select these points. I'm gonna slide them around here. Then these points are gonna sit here. And that's gonna be moved around this area. Then I slide these points around this area, like that. And the last points to be moved are gonna be here. Now let's go to, to the perspective. That's gonna be selected and it's gonna go inside like that. That's enough. And here, what's happening exactly here? I don't, I don't really see. Maybe, maybe I can continue the shape. I'm gonna just, that's what's happening. Okay. So I'm just gonna extrude along the line here. I'm gonna go with something like that. That's just gonna be more on X. So it's hiding that, that part. I don't like how. How it shows there, this is not so much important. It's gonna be hidden by other things. There are there are a lot of things that we we need to to do. Also, I forgot to turn on the camera. Okay, back with the camera. Okay, that's perfect. So that's gonna be hidden by uh, by other things here. With this, we just solve everything else. So maybe I'm gonna delete also this face. I don't really want it so by our, but by what i saw you you guys are preferring longer longer tutorial so so that's that's perfect because this tutorial is gonna be a little a little long from what i'm from what i'm seeing that i got to do with the engine so in this in this case i can finish everything that has to do with the engine Okay, let's adjust a little bit the shapes around here. So they are gonna be straight. Just stretch like that. Yes. I like it. Okay, from the photos. Yeah, this one. I see we are having another uh, part inside here so we can create it because uh, that's poking out a little bit here. And I, do, I don't 
really like that. So I just get, I'm just gonna do shift D like that. P selection so it's separated, everything it's fine. I'm gonna solidify and that's gonna be like let's see how it looks with a one thickness. So five millimeters seems to be good. So I'm gonna apply. I don't really need this face around here, these faces. And <clears throat> from here, I'm just gonna select these two edges and I'm gonna bevel the things a little bit, just like that. Let's see how it, look. it looks subdivided also. I don't have a subdivide on this one. Okay, so that's looking great for the moment. Okay. That's looking so good. Maybe what I can do with this. So I'm not gonna hide it. I'm just gonna go to viewport display and wire. So we are gonna see only the wires, but uh, that's not the same for the render. So when we are gonna render, we just get the shape. But in the viewport, we are having only the wires. So let's, let's go to see what we are gonna model underneath. Now let's take a look into the photo because here in the middle I also need to, to do a change. I need to get this kind of a thing around here. Now let's see where it fits. So that's gonna be here. I'm gonna slide also the point to this area. Then you go here and that's gonna be just like that. Now maybe that's gonna be moved a little bit into this way. And that's gonna be like that. So that's it. And from what I am seeing, there's a slope around that area. So first of all, let's go to polygons and I'm gonna select every single polygon from here. P selection. So I'm separating the selection. This one can be solid, it can be solid. And here I can make a groove, but let's see how I'm gonna do that. First off, I'm gonna make everything solid from here. And I see the groove, it's more visible here. Let's also take a look into the other photo, if we have it. So there's just a shape going on inside. And uh, what I will do, I'm just gonna get some cuts around here, like that. That's gonna be like this for the, for the moment. Okay. So the only thing I need to do is to get rid of uh, the triangles here. If the problem is solved, maybe I'm gonna get this part a little bit up already like that. Here I need to adjust the, the point. Here the here this triangle it's it's annoying me. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna slide it and slide it close to this area. These points are gonna slide like that. So they, they are gonna be pretty close to, to the area like this. So we, we are still keeping everything into quads. Then I can select everything from here and I'm gonna go down with it like that. And that's pretty much what I, what I see that's happening around here. And I'm gonna have another piece around this area. And I also need to do this kind of a grill. So I'm gonna get an edge loop close here. Then I select these three faces. They don't they they don't really need to be there. Maybe that's that's too big of a space, something like that. Now let me see. So that's apart from here and from here. <coughs> First, I'm gonna insert the faces, then I delete these faces around here, then GY so everything stays aligned like that because because I see this kind of shape here let's get that already made so like that here it's a little bit bigger from what I'm seeing something like that then I'm gonna lift a little bit from here <laughs> if I can just merge the words I'm gonna get this part somewhere around here or wait like that that's gonna go around here and here I'm having two points. <laughs> there are two points inside without without this and this. Like this one it's 
by itself. This should uh, be the same. <laughs> That's how it should look. Now I'm gonna select everything from here going on z-axis like that. And now I see there is a groove created here, so it's not that straight happening. And that can be solved by just selecting these edges around here. And I'm gonna slide them to this area. And the same is gonna happen here. Just sliding like that, and I created a shape. Let's take a look so I don't miss anything. This shape here is a little bit bigger. I'm gonna also do that. Maybe just like that. I'm not gonna add any more geometry. Let's solve the shearing like this. There's something under. Maybe the, that's where the, where the panels are meeting in between. Let's just take a look. I'm just gonna take this. Shift D, P, selection, okay. Then let's just go first off to the local view. So I'm gonna select the whole edge from here. Then these two edges are gonna be merge. GY, they're gonna merge. From here, I don't, I don't really need all, all of these words. So I'm gonna do something like that. Also from here, I don't really need them here. Resolve words. Okay, everything looks good. So with this, I'm just gonna select everything, then extrude and scale without the axis. Okay, that's good. Then I'm gonna select everything, extrude just a little bit like that. I see, I see the shapes are meeting. That's that's perfectly fine. Maybe I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna go to something like that. That's exactly about what I'm seeing also in, from the photos. Hopefully I'm, I'm not wrong. So I can turn on uh, back the wire frames and we can see some of the shapes that are created around here. Maybe also let's separate the tails. Yes, this shape here. I'm gonna also separate it because I see from the photo that's, that's separated or it's missing. E selection. Okay, so it's separated. Later, I'm, I'm gonna adjust the edges. Now, let's do the patterns because I see also some patterns around here. So, let's see these lines are from the panels around this area. Maybe I can do the whole thing. And from what I see, it's somehow following the shapes somehow. So, I can just copy the, the panel that we just created. So, it's gonna have the same, the same shapes here it's more straight and that's gonna be an adjustment that that we're gonna create uh, together okay so i select this shift d going on z axis that's gonna be solid so we can see better what we are doing exactly here let's take a look in the photo so here it's straight it's meeting on the points but here is going uh, a little bit more down or now it's in just in this area here it's leaving more space that's that's where the photo the photos are helpful because we are not understanding exactly what's happening here there's, there's just dots and from here we we are not seeing uh, anything so let's take a look how how low that's gonna be so that's gonna be somewhere around here and one i'm gonna select this edge around this area and i'm gonna go down like that okay that's good it is growing down a lot also here it's a little bit more down let's take another look to the photos i guess that's that's also going down and maybe i'm gonna leave it like that for a minute we need to make also some some changes there i'm gonna select also this edge around here so that's gonna stay around this area Let's also select this, so it's going like this, and from here the things should look straight, like this. Now I'm gonna go to local view so we can see exactly what, what I've done, what what a mess I've done. So we are just gonna solve the things here because they are not looking that great, like that. And then I'm gonna go out of local view, 
And let's see, because we need to change a little bit the ships. You can see here how everything is going. So that's turning around the exhaust. Yes, it's a whole shape. It's going like this. So the, ce the center part is not, is not visible. Now let's take a look. There it's an edge, which I need to create around here. With the shape it's here. I don't, I don't really understand what's happening here. Maybe I'm, I'm gonna figure out later what, what's there exactly. And from here, from here I see already that this line is following exactly what, what I need. And here I will have a little edge loop like that. Let's adjust the points. The points here are shearing, so I don't really like that like this. Also, let's let's solve that here. Yeah. So that's good. And then let's add another loop cut around here. So that's just gonna be another another object. I'm gonna separate it from here with P selection. Um, let's see what's happening here. That's an empty space around this area, so I need just to delete it. Here the edge is pretty much following the shape, like that. Yes, that's right on the spot where it should be, because it's also going around here. So the only thing which I should uh, delete is this. Also, let me delete this edge. Everything else is selected. Delete bases. That's a little bit inflated. Let's just go into the local view with, with this like that so I can see better what I'm doing. <coughs> so from here, I'm gonna adjust some things that I have to do. So these points here are not useful at all. Also now I can adjust also these points here because I don't need these points around here and also here. Yeah. That's gonna be left like that. Going back to edit mode, see so. I can uh, have the brush for selecting. Then I'm gonna make an insertion like that, an inset. I'm gonna slide this point because I don't really like exactly how it was looking. Let's uh, select back all the faces around here. Let's see. So that's that's a good inset. So I'm gonna push the faces something like that. Everything looks good. Let's get back to to see everything going out of local view. Here I I need a thing, but that's from, from this part. And also I see I, I need to make a lot of more geometry around that area. <laughs> one more look. So I can see, maybe, maybe I can carry on with the, with the edge from the object. I'm just gonna select the edge around here. And then GZ, oh, sorry. Extrude Z. That's the that's a better description. I'm gonna scale a little bit this here so it's entering into the planes here. here it's also fine. Now I can just uh, select these points around here and slide them inside like that. Okay. From here I'm gonna do the same, and here the same trick go, uh, goes on. Then. There's nothing wrong with it because you are going to have thickness also for these planes. We can get a little bit of a space around, around there. It's not a big problem with that. Here I see, let's, let's go also to that. So this, it's going also inside like, like that. So it's continuing straight on. So let's also do, do that. So I'm gonna go through edges, I'm gonna select the whole edge around this area. And when I say the whole edge, that's removing also you. Uh, okay, extrude Z, so just going on straight like that. Now from the, from the photo, I don't see exactly what's happening on the plate. That's the problem, we, we don't know exactly how much we're gonna go. I'm, I'm just gonna get this straight. So I'm gonna put it until here like that. So. The shape is closed around this area. Let's see, I cannot see uh, from there. And that's also going on a little bit inside. So then we'll just do some cuts around this area. These points are gonna merge. Let me stop for the moment here. Then I'm gonna continue. So
so that's what we are looking for let me hit it twice here everything needs merged something like that and that's what we need to do with every single point where we have a triangle here i can just merge it by that now i need to get this close to the to the edge exactly how we how we've done before g twice so that's close here i don't really like exactly how close it's it's from this point so i'm gonna just make, make it like that then i'm gonna slide these guys around here they are gonna be here the last two points which are gonna be here and then i can go to the edges i i select the whole edge and i do something like that so it's going a little bit inside because i i saw that from the side photo and also here you can see how it's bending so it's not straight cut it's turning on like that the hive model in the grid model is gonna be done just from the materials with an alpha mass so we don't need to to click to do that by by geometry that's i guess 500 000 uh, polygons that's just too much for one small panel so we get the the optimum way of doing the things by just by just playing with the materials okay and also let's do one small adjustment around here so i'm gonna add an edge loop to this area so it's gonna go uh, let's say i'm gonna select this point around here and it's going down like that also let's let's make it solid also from here and now if i select the the whole edge from here and then g, g stretch but only with spread like that that's what we are getting and that's perfect and let's go to local view so we can see better because i'm gonna do the same for uh, this let me first duplicate it and just go on z-axis so that's gonna be the under part you're gonna already have it then i'm adding an edge loop here then we just get this point to snap to the other point like that i'm going to edges and again i'm selecting every single edge from here g stretch and we got we got that kind of a shape now let's make them wires again getting out of the local view now i can go to local view with this bad boy and i can see exactly what i need to do so it's gonna be around here and then i need to adjust these edges like that and this polygon like that so that's what we were we were looking for something like that maybe and maybe i can get it more smooth i don't really need exactly this so i'm gonna delete it and i'm gonna hit relax like that so it's a smoother transition maybe i can do the same from here and from here relax like that now let's take a look there it's a little bit of a space going on from the shapes and i'm gonna solve that by just moving this edge with g twice and then this edge is moved like that now let's see what i what i need exactly to do i see that it's a circle which i also need to do and uh, there's pretty much the, the same thing like like the cap that we just done on the side of the car so we can copy that and put and put it there and on this side i don't know what what's there maybe the engineer's um, signature and the number as it's a limited edition the engineer it's uh, putting his signature to the to the engine so let's let's just get the the shape i'm gonna extrude that on z axis like this that's good for the moment i'm gonna select everything from here like that we don't really need these faces then that's going on y like this one hour and 19 minutes hm. let's take a look so that's bigger around here g twice so i can move these points around this area that's gonna go inside like that i see that's going smooth so let's see if i just do something like that that's that's good but i i will have to solve a lot of things so uh let's say something like that will be fine then i slide 
these points around here. Let me also take a look what we are doing exactly because I need to slide everything like that. And this point is gonna slide on this area like this. I'm gonna leave it like that for the moment. Let's get out of the local view. And I'm, the, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna leave it on the same place. Let's see what's the, what's the rotation exactly. So I'm gonna reset, reset everything from here. That's good. I don't need the, the mirror for this, for this part. So I'm just gonna select everything from here, these three objects again. Now I'm gonna get to the top view. I can align it around here. I'm gonna get it down. Let me see what, what's the middle of the path around here. Maybe I'm gonna rotate 80 degree. degrees looks fine. And, uh, okay, so I'm gonna scale it a little bit more like that. And I'm gonna go inside until here, let's see. Ah, uh, it's all the way inside. And like that, I'm gonna rotate on Y a little bit, so that's perfect. Now we can get the shape right. That's gonna be the middle part. Okay, let's go to the points and the points are gonna stay somewhere around here. Like that, going on a little bit outside, like this. This seems to be fine for me. And then selecting the polygons, extrude, like that. So we solved also this issue. Now let's let's also do the, the small plate around there. And that's going to be done by Shift D, B, selection. Okay, so I have this bad boy around here. I'm going to slide it like that. Then these points are going to be closed like, like this. Let's go to polygons, extrude on Z axis like that. Let's take a look. Maybe I had a place also here. No, I don't have it. So that's good. I just saw those of this area. Uh, so we got the the face of the engine. Now we still need to to do some things out underneath and I I do not know exactly what's this. Okay, so I took a look uh, to see what's happening exactly underneath. And now I'll just uh, try to, to, make, to mimic that and uh, let's start with the, with the cylinder first off because that's basically a cylinder from, from what I'm seeing. So uh, 24 faces, let's leave it at 24 faces. I'm gonna bring it here and rotate on x-axis 90 degrees like that. Let's see where it's the position of uh, this little bad boy. Now we have this line, so I suppose that's here. And maybe it's a little bit bigger like that. But of course, that's gonna be on the middle here. Let's just go to local view so I can erase everything from here. Faces, yes. Getting out of, getting out of local view. Let's add a mirror modifier. And the mirroring point should be this. And Y axis, clipping, yes. So here I have clipping, yes. <laughs> like that. Now uh, I cannot see how much down this is, but I suppose it's somewhere around here, down like that. Then let's go to edit mode. I'm gonna slide this on Y axis a little bit more like that. Let's see. Go away axis around here. Then I'm gonna rotate on Z axis like that. Then I'm gonna extrude, rotate on Z axis, moving on X, extrude again, GX, rotate Z, and we're going to something like that. And I I wish for that, for that to be the the last thing that we we need to do with this shape. Let's let's go into local view. So I can solve this area around here. Let me select this edge. I'm gonna slide it around here. Then this edge, it's gonna slide. Control V, so I can get it a little bit smoother like that. Something like that. G X. Okay, that's perfect. Now 
I'm gonna need to do a cylinder this side of this shape. So I'm gonna bring the ledge around here, like that. And let's see. I will try something out of it. Also with this edge, cylinder like that. But it's missing everything. So the only thing I think I can do is just trying to hit the the cylinder shape. Let's just try something. If I select the whole edge and hit relax, it's just getting like that. And maybe I can do the same here. Relax. 25 iterations. Not helping. G toys, okay. Okay, like that. Then if I slide this edge around here. Let's select only one for the moment, like this. That that's close to a circle. Let's add one more edge loop around here so I can do something like that. And then I can select everything from here. That's just a fast approach. Something that got in my mind like very fast. Okay, so I'm gonna extrude around here. So for the moment, let's just do it like that and now first of all let's uh, let's delete the faces because we don't need them there's just unnecessary geometry faces like that okay then i'm going i'm going to edges and circle so that's more like the circle the, um, the circle that we are looking for scale x zero the language changed again. Well, yes, that's looking pretty good. Let's move them a little bit more like that. I see maybe they are going up like like this. Then they go uh, down, but first of all, let's go to x-axis around here, something like that. <laughs> and I'm gonna select this ship D, B selection, okay. Now I'm going to edges, I'm gonna slide this edge around here, then extrude scale without x-axis to something like that. So for the moment that's how everything is gonna look. Let's take a look. <laughs> that looks just perfect. Let's take a look on the photo. So that's what we are seeing. I do not see what's happening even more there. I can add some, uh, I can add some cylinders as a uh, support from the chassis. This one is gonna be shaded smooth with auto smooth. Let's just, uh, let's just bring the cursor here. Now I'm gonna bring the cylinder. That's gonna be, let's say, 14 faces. That's enough because it's gonna be a small, a small shape like that. Let's say uh, 10 millimeters. Shades up without a smooth. Let's get it to Y axis like that. I'm gonna bring the mirror modifier. That's the mirroring point on y axis okay and now let's take a look at the photos do so i see one line going here i guess that it's one also going here something like that g rotate x so that's under we like that i maybe just i'm just gonna get it closer to something like this rotate on y axis like that then a little bit more on the x axis around here let me see it's hitting that so g y like that so we can see a little bit from it and it's not hitting it's not hitting the pipe there from what i can see shift d x i'm gonna move this around here rotate y axis like that too much on x so you go here, anything else that we are needing to do here? Now let's just take a look at the photo. That's the only thing we have. 
So maybe I'm just gonna add the shape and it's gonna be a black shape, something like that. Let's just, I'm gonna take a look underneath. So I'm gonna select these things going on to local view. Then I'm gonna bring the plane to G. Okay. A little bit more down like that. Let's see, I'm gonna add an edge look in the middle, then I'm gonna delete this face from here. Let's get out of the look and view. I'm gonna add a mirror modifier also on this. So everything goes with, with a mirror modifier. Hopefully I didn't, I was not talking too, too, too slow. So as I was talking before, it's like that. Okay. So I will adjust that because sometimes I, t I tend to to be not, uh, not that loud. I'm not used to to talk alone. Okay, and uh, let's let's see here. I have some sort of world. Let's also save after everything everything that we've done. Let's just go a little bit lower, like that. Maybe that's too much going on. So like this. So let's select these two things and I'm gonna bring a tube that's just to, to be something like that again we do the same magic trick we do the same magic trick with it I'm gonna select all the faces delete the faces then going out of local view I'm gonna set the mirror modifier with clipping now let's select the things from here like that I'm gonna put this here okay I don't really need to to go that, that down so I'm gonna be somewhere around here then uh, I see the shape here going on like that going to edges GX so it's like this and then I'm gonna go a little bit more up like this let's let's also take a look to see how we are fitting in in the car i need to make sure i'm not exceeding some points something like that then going back to polygons gx like this <coughs> control p so i make a bevel around this area and then i'm gonna add some edge loops around here I'm gonna select also this edge loop, control B, so I make this kind of a cut around here, and then extrude scale without Y axis because I don't need to scale on Y axis. <laughs> Shape smooth without a smooth. So that that's the engine part. We've done that. Also, I've solved everything, every single problem. That's that's how it how it should look like of course we are gonna need to solidify this part around here oh that's uh that was uh, pretty challenging in that area of course i didn't prepare the, the tutorial i was like no i go I, I go by the my by the improvisation <laughs> everything everything is gonna be right on the spot and uh, i like what i got for the moment it's uh, it's looking pretty good here let's see i'm gonna extrude also this face around here on z axis going on x axis just a little bit like that <laughs> let's just take a look that's looking great oh it is great work looks perfect <laughs> now let me take a look into obs one hour and 46 minutes so that was the tutorial uh, guys for uh, for today hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, you found anything helpful uh, with this the model will be updated as always on the cg trader account so you can see what i've done here and uh, yes it was pretty up because we cannot see exactly what's happening inside of the, <laughs> the engine and you are not gonna do every single detail from, detail from there all the cables and uh, the things because it can get pretty 
pretty dense in geometry if you're doing an engine or something like that, especially for, for this kind of a car. Or now uh, leave me a like, subscribe and uh, comment if you have any questions. Bye.